morning students welcome back again to our mathematics class yesterday we started estimation in operations okay and estimating sums we learned and a related one video also we have seen today i am going to teach you estimating difference and estimating product okay are you ready okay students see estimating difference there were 15932 apples in a store 1293 apples were sold by the end of the day about how many apples are left in the store by the end of the day this is the question the estimated value we have to find out okay let's see the solution the first step number of apples in the store how many how many apples are there in the store 15932 that is the actual number then how can we make estimator nearest 1000 we have to make that means 15000 after number place c that is 932 932 is nearest 1000 or not that you have to check 932 is nearest 1000 so 1000 will increase with 15000 so the estimated value is 16000 okay this is same as rounding off next step number of apples sold 1293 round it off make it nearest 1000 1293 is nearest 1000 that means not 2000 so it will round it down to 1000 only so the estimated value is 1000 next step therefore estimated number of apples left is equal to 16000 minus 1000 this is the question of difference so we have to minus that is equal to 15000 thus there are about 15000 apples left in the store got it all of you next estimating product in a library there are 722 shelves if each shelf has 489 books how many books are there in the library approximately the question is asking approximate number that means the estimated value we have to find out see the solution number of books on one shelf is equal to 489 that is the actual value okay so make it nearest 100 estimated value so 489 nearest 100 is equal to 500 next number of shelves is equal to 722 722 make it nearest 100 so the value will be 700 therefore estimated number of books in the library we have to multiply this is estimating product calculation okay so 500 multiply 700 that is equal to 350000 thus there are about 3 lakh 50000 books in the library students now we will see one video for clearing the concept of estimating difference okay estimate the difference solution we use rounded numbers to estimate to estimate 2540 minus 1985 we round the numbers to the nearest ten and subtract here the actual subtraction has also been shown to you so that you can see the difference between the two in life we either use estimation or actual numbers depending upon the need actual 2540 minus 1985 gives 555 estimation 2540 minus 1990 gives 550 Sometimes we round the numbers to the nearest hundred and subtract. If sweets have to be bought for all the residents in a colony, for example, we
we would round to the nearest hundred. Actual, 2,514 minus 1,985 gives 555. Estimation, 2,500 minus 2,000 gives 500. The estimated number is 500 and the actual number is 555. Thus, the difference is 55. We round the numbers to the nearest thousand and subtract. Actual 2,540 minus 1,985 gives 555. Estimation 3,000 minus 2,000 that is 1,000. The estimated number is 1,000 and the actual number is 555. So the difference is 445. We use estimation even while multiplying or dividing. To understand estimating products of multiplication, look at the examples on the screen. Estimate the product of 1243 and 256. To estimate 1243 into 256, we round the first number up and the second number down and then multiply. 1243 is rounded to 1240. 256 is rounded to 260. So 1240 into 260 is equal to 322,400. Thus the estimated product of 1240 into 260 is equal to 322,400. Did you know in estimating the product we must round off one number up and the other number down to get the closest answer? Let us estimate the quotient for each of the following divisions on the screen. 732 divided by 210. 9834 divided by 425. 63219 divided by 333. 732 divided by 210 is approximately 732 is rounded to 730. 210 is rounded to 210. 730 divided by 210 is equal to 73 divided by 21, which is approximately 3. 9834 divided by 425 is approximately 9834 is rounded to 9830. 425 is rounded to 430. 9830 divided by 430 that is 983 divided by 43 so the quotient is 23 approximately 63219 divided by 333 63219 is rounded to 63220 333 is rounded to 330 therefore 63000 220 divided by 330 gives 6322 divided by 33. So the quotient is 192 approximately. Think of a number. Double it. Add 14. Divide by 2. Take away the first number you thought of. The answer is 7. You can see from the given table that you can do it with any number you like. Today's class is over. We will meet again with the next topic. Okay. Thank you. Have a nice day.